Welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. We'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 160. My title is Mike Wins the Point, also known as Confusing Array Formula. Oh my gosh, Mike, this is crazy. This question sent in from Sweden. Joseph T wants to sum an array of cells, N2 to U235, but he only wants the negative values from here, and he only wants the values from a row if if the criteria over here matches uh, the number 12 in um, B15. <laughs> so equal sum if this range comma is less than 0, which would give me all of the negatives, right? Yeah, so negative 3, if I copy that down, so it's just summing the, the negative numbers, so minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 9, that's working. All right, then I'm going to multiply that by a Boolean constant that says, is this criteria over here in column B equal to this criteria in B15, press F4, which is going to be true or false, but when I multiply a true or false, the true becomes 1 and the false becomes 0. So what we should have is we should get all um, the negatives only when the number matches. Now here this one is 0, but there is no negative, so that's not a problem. And it looks like that one is working. And then finally equals sum of that whole range there. Well, I know when we run this one through uh, Charles Williams uh, Fast Excel, uh, because I have all of these formulas intermediate formulas before I get to that total, it's going to be so much slower to calculate. But Mike, that's uh, that's what I have. That's what I have. Yep. So I'm sure you're going to blow me away with some amazing formula. Uh, let's see it. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Hey, summon this helper column. I love it. Hey, helper columns sometimes are faster than array formulas. Totally, the solution you did here is totally cool. Now, I'm actually going to take uh, straight from Mr. Excel. We had um, this whole data set here compared to the less than zero, and then this whole column over here needs to be compared to that 12. I'll just take those things and slap them into a single cell. Now, we're going to have to add these, so I'm going to use sum product instead of sum because the array arguments can handle array calculations without using any special keystroke to enter the formula. So the first thing is, I'm going to ask the question of this column. Now, one thing about this setup, this is a different dimension than this. If they were the same dimensions, we could just use sum ifs, right? Control shift down arrow, control backspace to bring the formula back in view. And I'm going to say, are any of you equal to this 12? Now, another thing about this comment, this is set up exactly like this comment was written. But I'm curious, like, when would you have the criteria right in the middle of a column full of criteria? I'm not quite getting that. F4 to lock it. Now, we're actually going to multiply this range here times this over here, and they're different sizes, and we want that equal sign to calculate first, so I'm going to put that in parentheses. Now we'll do times, and our second calculation will be the first cell, control shift right arrow, down arrow, control backspace. Are any of you less than 0? close parentheses. Now right now, the reason we're not using array 1, array 2 is because they're different size dimensions. Some product can't handle different size dimensions. But if I enter this right here, it'll give me the count. So there are six values that are equal to 12 and less than, or, uh, less than 0. If we highlight that whole range and hit F9, this is actually giving me a same size array as this table over here. When we multiply this, times this range. It's taking the trues and falses and multipl multiplying them across the entire row. In fact, I can't see the values. If I pull down the formula bar, maybe at the top, there's some of the ones. That means true, I found the 12 and less than 0. But we want to not count, but add Control-Z to undo that. So now, 
the 6, whoops, I want to scroll up here. Since that array right there is the same dimension as that, I'm going to put a comma. And now I can multiply those 1's and zeros times this whole table. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, Control, Enter. And there is the minus 27. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. All right, Mike, yeah, I knew you would have something good there. Uh, so this is a single column of values, but when we multiply it by a rectangular column of values, it pops out into a rectangular column, and then just letting some product do its thing. Very, very cool. Charles Williams here. Now let's see how those solutions stack up using Fast Excel. Just, uh, with Fast Excel, we have to come out here to Calculation Options and temporarily turn this into Manual. Mike, let's test yours first because I think uh, uh, I think it's going to win. Um, so we do calc range and 1.225 milliseconds. We'll test it a couple of times. Ooh, 0.645 and 2.541. So uh, looks like about an average there of, of one and a half milliseconds. Coming back to my solution with all of these helper cells, I'm going to have to select uh, this whole range here. And calc range, 2.22, calc range, 0.744, and calc range, 0.731. They are, they are about uh, equivalent. Uh, a little bit slower the, the first time, but then the second times, um, it is not that bad. So although I had to take up a lot more cells, uh, it still managed to uh, calculate in about the same speed. That is crazy, isn't it? All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun. It's Dueling Excel time.